What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode number 46 of the King's Speech Podcast. It's your boy, Trevi Trev in the building. Josh is here with me. What's good? My man, Trev. What's going on, bro? I'm great. I'm good. I feel good. Had a barbershop haircut on Friday. Oh, talk to him. Feels great. Whenever you leave... This is going to sound disgusting, and I know we're starting off on a very, like... (laughs) Where are you taking them? Early, early wave. But when you leave the barbershop, like, it kind of feels like your dick's a little bit bigger. (laughs) That's how you feel when you walk out the barbershop after a while. Like, like you just feel so confident. <laughs> and Trevor up to the plate. <laughs> He's swinging for the fences, folks. No, I, I know the feeling you're talking about. Yeah. It's uh, big dick energy. That's what the, uh, the streets call it. Um, I know that feeling. And, and, and I'm so glad it's back. Absolutely. We it's deserve good. it. We deserve it. Yeah. I was, you know, grooming myself for the past few months just because, like, I couldn't let my shit get, like, super out of control. But... Uh, it feels good to be uh, to be pampered as fellas. Yes, we need to that's, embrace that's, that. that's what it is. It's, it's the pampering feeling, ladies. Yeah. We need that, uh, that those thirty minutes. <laughs> that those thirty minutes make us feel like we're kings, kings, so. gods, gods. Yeah, godlike, godlike. royalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah kings sure. among men, among men. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone, anyone without a cut is from uh, now on a peasant. When, when, I, mean, I, when I see them. I mean, yeah. Yeah, please. Pretty much. You don't cut your hair? Okay. Don't speak to me. Speak to my representative. <laughs> please, yeah, speak to him. <laughs> but it was, uh, it was good. It was a good feeling. And then this weekend, uh, I was kind of off the grid a little bit this weekend. Mm, off the grid. Kind of okay. off the grid. Oh, yeah. I've been off the grid a lot of the weekends, actually. <laughs> you actually spend more weekends off the grid than on the grid. Actually, you haven't been on the grid since the Jordan duck. <laughs> That's what happens. But hoops, hoops is back soon. That is what happens. I, I mean, is hoops really back? Hoops is back. <laughs> who's who's going to hoop? Pick because a, none of the Brooklyn Nets are going to hoop. <laughs> pick up wreck is pick up wreck is happening. None of and the niggas. thing is they're actually like an eight seed, right? I potential, mean, potential eight seed. Potentially, right? No, right now, if the playoffs started, they'd be in the playoffs. Yeah, right. And seeding wise, but DeAndre got the COVID. He got the Kyrie, COVID. Yo, he is, got the COVID and said, "Yo, I'm not coming. I'm not, I'm not coming back either." Yeah. So like when, I, like even if I get better, like y'all niggas won't see me. No, I, as he as he shouldn't. And right. then uh, Dinwiddie got the COVID. Did he? Yeah. Dinwiddie, uh, got the Dinwiddie COVID. was rolling in something to get the COVID. He was purposely trying to get the COVID. That wasn't like oh, someone like affected him. No, he he went looking for that. I promise you. I don't he didn't know. Want to play. And then uh, who else? Wilson Chandler isn't playing because of like fam. He doesn't want to get his family sick. So I mean, I'm concerned about what this is going to turn into because if the top tier players aren't there to play and do their thing, then what the fuck are we watching? Hey man, I'm gonna tell you something right now. <laughs> J.R. Smith is back, <laughs> and I I am so happy. Is that, we got, is that all that we have to look forward to? In oh, I'm is excited. JR Smith? I'm excited. This is going to be amazing. You have no idea. J.R. Smith, he's ready. He's ready. He's ready. And this is what the Lakers needed. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm, I'm a J.R. Smith fan purely from, big I mean, time, just, just from time, his, big time JR his fan. play. But him kicking the shit out that nigga that was like fucking with his truck. Uh, also, on also on board. Also on board. Got to be on board. Don't Big fuck with time. don't fuck with a man's ride. Are you are you nuts? Don't do that. Are you, are you, are you dumb? That's not smart. Yeah, no, no, no. So Jr. back. Copy that. Um, and I know we didn't even talk about this in the notes, but to me, the biggest news of the weekend. Right, mm-hmm. I was off the grid as well, and we'll get into that. But the biggest news of the weekend is Cam Newton signing to the with Pats. the Patriots. To me, I am, I am, I am, I am dumbfounded. I have no, I have no words. This is amazing to me. There was a meme of him like dressed like a revolutionary soldier because he likes to dress in those like wild ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to see it. I need to see it. With the big jacket yes, and the buttons, I need to see it. I need the buttons to see it. down. I'm a, I'm a Cam fan. I'm a Cam fan. So I'm with it. redemption. I, I think this is. Listen, man. I'm looking at this for another other than redemption. I want Cam to have a killer season. Mm-hmm. I want him to have an MVP like season. Right. I want him to compete. I want him to carry on that Patriots name. I think this is an amazing opportunity to like just show Carolina what he's about, show the world what he's about. It's a big stage, a lot of pressure. Please don't fail. But the Pats need better players around him. They got the little Giants playing around him. Right, right that's now. a fact. They need. They need. A, they, they might even need to hit up Antonio Brown again. That'd be crazy. Ooh. <laughs> Ab, what you doing, boy? Cam and Antonio Brown. And Wouldn't the that be nuts? They'll never the let it happen. They'll again. never let it happen. That's just. They will never let it happen. I like Cam, but. I mean, I want to see Cam do well. I just hope he's got his head on straight because he's done some wild yes, shit. I'm really the listen, past few years. He's on a big stage right now. He's no longer in Carolina. He is in New England, and he's expected to produce. 
right? Every every Sunday, mm -hmm. like they're used to. This is a big stage, and this is a big opportunity for a black quarterback. Huge yeah. opportunity. 